Hi guys, I'm Ed Clark, and I recently discovered that you can actually order some effects pedals on Timu. Now, obviously, they're not known brands, um, but I had to order one uh, to see what it was like, and I've not opened it yet, so I can give you my actual reactions live on camera. So, um, here it is, unopened. It's uh, by the famous brand Effects, and it's called the Number 2 Ultimate Drive. Looking at the uh, pictures online, it looks suspicious like an OCD. So I have my Fulton OCD here, which I'm going to compare it to. Um, but yeah, let's get this open. Whoever trusted me with a Swiss Army knife. Put it that way before I hurt myself. Oh. Oh, comes with actual rubber feet. No expense spared. Oh, we've got a manual and everything. All right, what do we got? Ooh, okay, here we are. Um, so yeah, actually, surprisingly, I was expecting cheap plastic. It's a it's a metal enclosure. Um, it feels quite sturdy. I am surprised and impressed. The knobs feel a bit cheap and the pots do as well. But I mean, I'm not really surprised by that. Um, switch feels solid. The toggle switch actually feels really expensive. What is going on? It has a high and a low mode. Now, I guess that that's high peak and low peak, like on the full tone OCD. I suppose it could be high gain and low gain, but let's plug it in and find out. Okay, so here is our clean amp. Strings a little bit dead, so I apologize for that. Um, but yeah, let's see what we are working with here. Blimey. <laughs> There's a lot of low end, a lot of low end. <laughs> about um I'll, it sounds quite lo-fi um whether that's intentional i suspect not or whether that's because it's cheap uh, i'm not sure um we're in the low gain mode at the moment let's just let's just see how much gain is in that <laughs> Um, let's go over to the high mode. Is this high gain or, well, actually just do a direct comparison. I would say that it's the same kind of switches in the OCD. Um, whether it actually sounds like an OCD or not, I'm not quite convinced by that bit, uh, but it definitely uh, has the high peak, low peak. It gets a little bit louder and more articulate when you go into the high peak mode. So again, here's low peak. I'd say it sounds a bit better in the uh, high peak mode. Let's see how it actually sounds compared to the OCD on the same settings. I'll put everything at 12 o'clock in the high peak mode in the OCD, and let's compare. <laughs> Okay, 
whether or not it's supposed to sound like an OCD, I think we can agree it doesn't. Um, but let's try the uh, low peak mode as well. Okay, definitely doesn't sound like an OCD, but in fairness to them, I'm not sure that it was necessarily supposed to. Um, let me just have a quick look at the manual, see if there's anything that uh, gives it away. Nothing particularly exciting in there. All right, I'm going to try and dial in a sound that sounds uh, more pleasing to me. So I think it sounded better in the high mode, but it was still a bit muffled. So I'm going to put the, uh, the tone up a little bit and maybe a little bit more gain. <laughs> That's not terrible. So I think what I can say about this pedal is that it's it's not one of those pedals that you plug in, no matter how the settings are, it sounds good, which to me is the mark of a good pedal. No matter what settings you want to use, it still sounds awesome. But it's not that you can't get a good sound out of this. It's just taking a bit of dialing in. So it's definitely not going to be as versatile as some Dira pedals. But I suppose for the pedal market, that's probably quite a good thing. If you could get uh, the best overdrive in the world from Timu, we might have an issue. <laughs> Okay, so I'd like to get some kind of like actual meaningful message out of this video. Um, so since I think we can all agree it doesn't sound like an OCD, I've got a, another budget pedal. This one is a clone of the OCD, but it doesn't sound exactly like one um, because it is obviously uh, a much cheaper ver uh, variant. It's the very, very popular Tone City brand. I really, really rate this brand. If you're on a budget and want to get good pedals, I really recommend them. So I thought what I'd do is compare this directly to the Timu pedal because ultimately, if you're looking at the budget um, pedal market, this is who you're basically competing with. I can't remember exactly what I actually paid for the Timu pedal, but I'll put it on screen now once I find out. But it is, I, as I remember it, pretty comparable to what you'd expect to pay for a uh, Tone City pedal. So let's see which one you should get. Um, I'm going to start with that sound that I got on the Ultimate Drive, because to be honest, I think it was a pretty decent sound. Um, I'm going to see how it compares to what the best I can get out of the uh, Tone City is.
Okay, let's try a little bit of low gain and uh, see what we get out of that. So if I turn the gain right the way down, leave it on the high peak mode, I do think it sounds better. <laughs> It holds up pretty well against the Tone City. Um, I do think the Tone City offers a bit more versatility overall, just from my experience of using them. Yeah, I think we can agree that this um, is not a faithful recreation of an OCD at all. Whether it was supposed to be or not, different question. Um, I'm now suspecting that it probably wasn't because it doesn't really sound like even this cheap clone. I think there is actually some merit to it. It does sound quite warm because of that quite... Uh, exaggerated low end that was quite untamable at the beginning. If you dial the treble up a bit or the tone up a bit on it, it actually becomes uh, a lot clearer. And I do think then the, the extended low end actually becomes a benefit because it's warmer. The downside of that is you can't really get like a smooth tone out of it because in order to get the clarity, you have to have the tone up and that gets it quite jaggedy. But in fairness to um, effects, if that is the, <laughs> the brand name. In fairness, whoever made it, um, it is incredibly well built um, physically and it doesn't sound that terrible. I'm not sure I would choose it over uh, Tone City. I think I would still go with Tone City, but it's not um, as terrible as maybe I feared. But yeah, let me know what you think. What do you think in the comments? But yeah, actually not too bad. In any case, I hope you enjoyed this video, as weird as it was. If you did, please hit the like button, make sure you're subscribed, and you've got the bell icon ticks to be notified of new videos. Have yourself a great day, and I'll see you next time.